Okay, this is something different. This is a Fisher receiver, 500C. Uh, this is a tube receiver. You can see I've got the speaker wires in there. Uh, it was working, um, but it needs some work to keep it reliable and safe and everything else. I've done some research on what to do, and there's some modifications that have to be made, and also these CAN capacitors need to be changed, as well as a bunch of small electrolytics and the coupling caps. So, you know, there's a handful of things that need to be done to make this you know, work better. The bias on the output tubes is uh, set um, too high for uh, the, uh, basically it's, there's, it's set too high for long life of the tubes. It's made to run them kind of hard and the tubes wear out quickly and need to be replaced. And these are expensive tubes, like really expensive tubes. Like most tubes are a couple dollars. These are like, you know, 20 to $50 each. And there's four of them. So, you know, you, you can't really just keep replacing tubes that cost that much every couple of years. So we want to make those adjustments to make it a little bit nicer on the tubes. And, uh, notice the tuning's a little stiff, so I might start there and just free that up a little bit. And, uh, clean the controls, you know, um, basically just, you know, recap it and, uh, get it back to better operating condition. So here is the inside of this fissure. This is quite complicated, actually. Well, it's not, but it is. The way to look at this, I think, is to just concentrate on one area and, um, yeah. So basically we're looking at these little electrolytics here. I wish I had something to point with, but I don't. Um, so these little electrolytics here, and then there's one somewhere around here. Here's a couple there. This one here, and there it is, yep. So those need to be replaced. The These need to be replaced with resistors, those little uh, ties to ground. You've got some other can caps that need to be replaced. A couple there. That one's going to be a pain. Man. Wow. Okay. Uh, this big bias capacitor needs to be changed. And this selenium needs to be replaced. So that's good. Uh, we've got bunch of controls that need to be cleaned. That's easy. I can do that first. Some of these capacitors, some of these are okay. Some of them will be needing to be replaced. These mustard caps are probably okay. Uh, like that little electrolytic needs to be changed. So yeah, it's just a mix of different things that need to be done. And then some of these resistor values need to be changed. So yeah, I think we'll start with cleaning the controls because that's easy. So we'll do that. And then we'll go over to the output tubes and we will install resistors on the cathode. And that will give us uh, a way to measure the bias because until then you can't measure the bias um, with a cathode tied directly to ground. It's not so much the bias, it's the current. So when you adjust the bias, it adjusts the current and from what I understand, it needs to be around 35, uh, 32 to 35 um, milliamps. And, uh, you know, these can be a lot higher, especially with this old selenium rectifier not putting out enough bias voltage. The way this works, it's a little bit weird compared to like a radio that usually has, uh, usually just uses a uh, part of the power supply. So, like, um, field coil, for example, it might put in, in negative, uh, and then the difference between the center tap and chassis um, will be the bias, essentially. This need, this actually has a separate winding from the power transformer that puts out about 24 volts AC, selenium rectifier that converts it to DC, a filter capacitor, 
and then it goes through a resistor, which is uh, somewhere around here. I don't, I don't even know where it is. It's a 15 ohm resistor somewhere. Anyway, it goes through that, or not 15 ohm, um, uh, 5.6k um, uh, resistor that goes to the uh, negative power supply. Now it also puts out enough voltage for four of the tubes filaments, 24 volts, so that's, you know, enough for a couple, well, actually it's four, yeah, four tubes, filaments, it's a little weird, but whatever, that's what they're doing, and, uh, yeah, so basically this capacitor is probably dried out, needs to be replaced, and then this selenium is probably not working well. When you replace that with a silicon bridge rectifier, and you replace this with new capacitors, it should put out a better voltage, a stronger voltage, which is what we need for the bias, uh, for the output tubes. So here are our 10 ohm resistors. These are quarter watt 10 ohm resistors. They're kind of big. Um, they'll fit, but they're big. Anyway, the, that's where they're gonna go. So we are going to remove this tie here and replace it with a 10 ohm resistor. All right, so I went ahead and I changed those four, or I added those four resistors. I also changed this electrolytic here because it was connected to one of the terminals. I figured, why not? Might as well do it. The next step will be, well, good question. What is the next step? Next step, I guess, change the other electrolytics. I don't know. Coupling caps and electrolytics, probably. I also have to replace several resistors here. Um, some of these are 330K and they're supposed to, well, they need to be changed to 220. So that'll be that, but let's do the electrolytics first. Let's um, get that out of the way. So one of the things that people recommend online is that the coupling capacitors be replaced with a higher value, like a 0.1 or 0.082 or 0.068. So I have 0.068, so I'll put those in. And then the 220K resistors, which I believe they're here, no, yeah. These are 330 and they should be replaced with 220. So I've got those two and I'll replace them. Went ahead and I did one channel here. This is the coupling capacitors and then these are the 220k resistors that are replacing the um, 330k so that will run the tubes a little cooler so I went in here and I replaced I know that's kind of melted but whatever replace the negative supply a rectifier so I labeled it should be connected the right way positive goes ultimately to ground through this resistor and the negative goes up to the negative of the power supply capacitor for the negative power supply. Now that's going to get replaced with individual capacitors in a moment. So that, that'll be next. We've got our rectifier down here. Get your filter capacitors. And then it goes up to the uh, negative supply, which is here. Uh, let's see. That's, yeah, negative. Positive comes out. Negative supply comes here. And then this is what, well, not this, this wire, white wire goes up to bias the tubes. It comes up right here to bias the tubes. I went ahead and I removed the can here. You can see the values on it, 250, 50, and 50. There's our little spot there. I used the monster soldering iron for that. You just have to unsolder these tabs and then they twist over and you can pull it out. It's not too bad. So I got the new shiny new can in here, which doesn't come out. Here it is. This is one of these. Now, it's kind of nice. They have they do a really nice job. I uh, definitely recommend going here. I've ordered the pre-made capacitors for the transoceanics as well. They're really nice. You know, for something like this, yeah, I could restuff this, sure. Um, and on something that's not a Fisher, you know, maybe a, a, a you know, a cheap Japanese one or something, I, yeah, maybe. Um, but on this, I just think it's worth paying the extra. I mean, look at, 
look at what they do here. This is a really nice job. You know, this is actually a very nice presentation. I think it looks better than the originals, to be honest. So we're going to go with that. Now, what's nice about this is they mark everything exactly the way the old one was marked. You can see the moon is 200, moon is 200 here. So we're going to go ahead and put this in. Okay, there's the new capacitor in there. So that's the one of the three. And then we have these two down here. I'm going to probably save the worst for last. This may be difficult too, actually. Hmm. Well, we'll see. So I'm getting this other can out. It's a little difficult. It's on this. It's most of the way out. Um, just got to wiggle it. There we go. Got it. Perfect. So this one here doesn't even have a label. Yeah. 200 to 250. So we'll change that. So here's the new one. Now this, this is just interesting. You can see how it's insulated. So the way that the power supply is wired on this is that you have negative of this goes to the positive of the other 250 or 200 microfarad, which is in the other can. So we can go ahead and got the second capacitor in and now we just have the last one here, which is very tight and I don't look forward to this at all. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've changed all these can capacitors, so they're all replaced. I changed this one cross the line capacitor. I do have to change the other one. Then we're gonna install our thermistor, which will help bring up the voltage slowly. Okay, so I went ahead, I changed these two capacitors, this one down here and that one. I also changed this one up here and I went ahead and changed the other line bypass capacitor. I also added a, uh, instead of the fixed resistor there, I put a 10K trimmer pot. I mean, it's a little floppy, but it's not that floppy actually. It should be okay. So I put that in so I can adjust the bias. When I bring this up, I don't want it to completely destroy the tubes. So I set that pretty low. It's at 2.9 right now. Um, I need to go up or down, I'm not really sure. So we'll find out about that. So I'm basically ready to power up. I have the speakers connected. I have an antenna connected. I think instead of B+, plus, what I'll do, uh, since I'm pretty sure we're going to get B+, plus, is I will hook my meter up to the bias voltage and see where we're at there. And if I'm not seeing enough bias, then I will, right away, I will just shut it down. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the power on the light bulb on. Very yeah, because it's zero volts. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. Let's go to... 5 volts. Huh, we're getting B plus already. Look at this. Negative half a volt. Well, that's good. Negative 1 volts. I should see about negative 17. Or 20 volts. 30 volts. 40. 50. Oh, light bulb is starting to glow. That's good. I don't see any lights coming on the front. We're at 60 volts. Here's something. Bias is minus 7 right now. This 8 probably won't play till I get about 75, 80 volts. How right about 80? Should be hearing something. Oh, here's something. It sounds like it wants to work. Oh, yes. Yeah, not music. 
Wisconsin in a class action lawsuit now accusing bureaucrats of failing to process go. paperwork that's forcing thousands of families to face food instability. Abby Bieberman is associate director of the Public Vet Benefits Unit for New York Legal Assistance Group. She says single Dirty. person households receive. This is good. What we need to do now is bring it up without the uh, variac, or not variac, the light bulb, and get the full voltage on it. Because right now I'm I'm sitting here and I'm looking at you know, 110 volts, but um, realistically, the thing is probably only getting, you know, 80 or 90 um, because of the restriction on the light bulb. But I just wanted to show that there was no issue, show myself, there's no issue, no big short, nothing that's going to completely destroy the unit. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Uh, second thing I'm going to do now is uh, check the voltage on the um, cathodes. You can see here, I have these cathode resistors put in. I have one over there too, and one up there. Um, what I will do is check the voltage there and see what we're at. And uh, I think it was 0 0.030 something is ru roughly what we want. A little less would be okay, more, eh, maybe a little more. Um, but we don't want them higher than 0 0.035 on anything, any one of those tubes. And they're probably going to be all over the place because I don't think these are matched. And this really needs a set of matched tubes. Okay, we have about 7, 8, 17 volts. The pot is all the way over, though. So I'm going to pull that out. Okay. Point oh seven. So the problem that we're facing here... And your car can be picked up tomorrow. You can hear the channels. Two of the audio tubes are pretty good. Two of them are not so good. So we have two tubes that are weak. I'll just show you real quick. Point oh three, point oh eight, and then we'll just do this one up here. Point one, and this one over here. Point oh eight. So tubes are all over the place. And this would be a really good candidate for the, uh, what they call an IBBM, or, uh, let's just take, I'm just curious here, what is our voltage going to the tubes, let's take a look, minus 25, so like I said, cathode current, I'm bringing it up on the variac. I'm going to put in a CL70, I think it is, or CL80, one of those, and, uh, what that does is it makes sure that it gets a slow start. These power switches are known to go bad. And uh, if you put a CL80 or CL70 and it uh, helps prolong the life of them. I will say it does sound nice. Maybe we're not totally lost here. So I think what I'll do, let me check the cathode current again. I'll try to get a little higher cathode current. Just before midnight, check this here. But he lost control and slammed into the median, One and killing two. his two passengers. 18 year old Sukhmani Singh. So they're running way too cold. 16 year old Manish Kush. It's increased Kush. just a little. The driver was also hurt in the crash, hospitalized in stable condition, expected to survive. Police are investigating. It is not clear if that 19 year old driver will be charged with any crime. Wins News Time 26. Now Bloomberg Money Watch on 1010 Wins. The back to the office movement in the U.S. has reached a key milestone with office occupancy in major U.S. cities topping 50% of pre pandemic levels last week. It's the first time above 50% since the pandemic began. The week is off to a lower start on Wall Street, but the Fed set to begin a two day policy meeting tomorrow. Mine. The Dow dropped 261, the SP lost 53, the NASDAQ fell 228. A weakening economy this year is expected to mean lower demand for refrigerators, dishwashers, and other appliances made by Whirlpool. But the company's outlook is less no, pessimistic so that's pretty than Wall Street. Pretty weak. That's pretty hours. weak. Airbnb has been trying to make party mm. hosts feel unwelcome. The same for Verbo, which has root out suspicious Super Bowl weekend bookings. It will alert hosts to potentially high risk bookings and let them cancel the reservation without penalty. Bloomberg Money Watch at 26 and 56 past every hour. 
I'm Larry Kofsky for 1010 Wins on 92.3 FM. Do you know what people see when they Google you? Search engines that don't tube is right. And when they're wrong, really it's your reputation on the line. So what do you do when you don't agree with your search results? Call Nine Reputation seven. Defender at 800-933-1022. Reputation mm. Defender by Norton is one of the most trusted names in online reputation repair. We have over a decade of experience in fixing people's search results, and we can help you too. Using cutting-edge approaches, Reputation Defender pushes unflattering information down to lower pages of your search results, where few people ever look. We also promote the good stuff so that it rises to the top, letting you put your best foot forward. Your good name is too valuable to leave to the whims of a Google algorithm. You owe it to your traffic alerts whenever they happen. I'm Kelly Dillon, 1010 wins on 27. That's FM. about right. And time now for the AccuWeather four day forecast. Here's meteorologist Brian Thompson. And Don, it is going to be an increasingly cloudy evening, and then the clouds will linger into the overnight hours. Three more. Yeah, it's about right. Into the overnight as well. We'll see a low of 35 in the city. We'll drop one the channel is definitely weak. Uh, for the inland suburbs, that's where we have the best chance for some snow mixing in with those rain showers. New Testament. Seabridge, very sensitive. Yeah. 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 It's working the best that it can work as it is right now. That's what it is. Which is not bad. It sounds good. It sounds really good. Comedies. I was definitely consider myself a devout Christian. So what I just did here is I added a screen resistor um, from... So I, I eliminated the connections between the tubes here, here, and here. Brought over another wire to connect pin one, which is an unused tube pin on this. And I moved, or I added these resistors from pin four to pin one. And then I moved this big resistor before the resistor. Um, and that should do it. So what that does is it prevents arcing inside the tubes. You're, you know, you're trying to eliminate any potential form of failure with these expensive output tubes and uh you know certainly before if i do decide to put new tubes in this um i, I don't want it to fail you know in, in such a terrible way uh, especially if there's a way to prevent it so that's why i'm doing that okay we built our board i'm gonna cut this obviously so this is what it looks like it's kind of messy underneath but it's okay um what we're doing here we tied this together this is the b plus or b plus the um bias voltage, negative bias coming in. And then you can see here, these are the individual biases, and biases, the bias coming out. So those are the ones that will go out to these individual resistors. Now you'll see here, these resistors tied together. Um, we're gonna untie those together. And instead of going to, you can see the white wire there, which goes to the bias uh, down here, ultimately. Uh, those are going to be separated and we're going to go feed these bias voltages individually to those blue resistors there. Not that one. Those two. Come on, focus. Guess not. So anyway, that's what we're doing. That's why we're building this board. So I mounted my board here. It's a little bit, you know, but there's a standoff holding it in. It's just one screw, but it's it's not going to move. I mean, it's pretty tight, so that's good. Now, what I need to do is connect this capacitor, uh, well, the, this part of it here, to this lug right down here. So I'll run a wire to that. Then I need to connect individual wires, these four wires, up here, right here, 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 to these resistors need to come apart in here too. So the resistor's gonna be floppy, which I don't like, but I could have put them on this board, I guess. So I wired up my board here. You can see the yellow wires, the new wires going up to each individual. So you've got one here, a resistor here, another one there and there. 
So we've got an individual wire to each um, bias point on the tube. And then we have the adjustments here. Now one thing that I realized, which is gonna be just kind of stupid, but I think it's the way it is, is these caps, you know, maybe I can push them down a little, but they're basically in the way of this board to make adjustments, because so I have to move them, you know, they're like this, I have to move them. And they're not, they're flopping a little. I don't, I really would rather have a terminal strip, but there's just really nowhere to put it. And uh, I think if I did this again, I would probably do it a little differently, but it is what it is. They're not gonna touch anything. They're not gonna do anything bad. So I think, you know, we just live with it for now. I might be able to extend that and then just, I don't know. I'll look at that. Uh, anyway, right now we can bias it properly and that's the important part. Starting to bring this up on the Variac. I already have negative 1.2. Now I'm measuring at one of the um, tube um, bias points. I want to see, you know, am I getting the bias going through the board that I built? So we're going to find out. We're at 30 volts. I'm getting negative 0.2. That's good news. Okay, so I rewired this board. I wasn't getting the bias adjustment out of it, and I realized, took a look at this, completely did it wrong. I don't know. This is what happens when you look at a schematic and you're tired and you want to just finish it and, you know, cut corners. So I put these jumpers on. This here wasn't connected. I didn't connect the bias input to the bottom of the, the pot. Um, yeah, so I missed out on a lot. So that's what it is. I'm going to go put it back in now. Okay, so here's where we're at. I got the board in. I got to hook up the ground, so I was having some issues with it. I was able to adjust the bias on these adjustments to get something somewhat good. I'm going to show you here. 0 0.33, 0 0.33, 0 0.24, and 0.219. Bring that up a little more. The pri their priorities are diversity and inclusion is, in is important no matter what background that you're from it's very okay, important okay, let's try that, that again you are able to two, see seven. that you're represented on the ice you one, can do two, this too one, seven. Now, so it's when did you start obviously not hockey? ideal um, so it's skating four or five. wow yeah mother initially wanted me to be a figure skater but <laughs> a bunch of my friends were just like nah you're gonna play hockey yeah, yeah, look at the two okay. different skates. It's very, this, this, one, uh, this one's for me. Yes. Touchy so adjustment, it, point it two six. Tell us about your, your career a little bit and how you've been able to point build two one up the seven. Ranks. Yes. So developmental point hockey. Three, three. Right? Um, it's around like 168 point three, three. New York. So um, we initially started. Clearly the uh, two tubes in one channel are much stronger than the two in the other. Uh, they probably need to be replaced. The nice thing about with this board is I can just change two of them. Um, these tubes are stupid expensive. And just have fun. It's good enough. Can you share a bit about who else is here from the group tonight? Um, so, okay, so Sean, um, Sean Gravy, he is... Uh, the problem I'm having sorry. is the He's stereo and, multiplexing. Um, he is, you know, founder of the program and... And my volume control's dirty. Uh, stereo multiplexing, it is um, basically, it's cutting out in one channel, and I'm not really sure what's going on. Uh, when I switch it to mono, you know, not every day volume. you have someone that sticks out their neck like that. It really means a lot, and it's pushing the the scope of hockey. To You can expand it. It's so much larger. So we're speaking with Nick that's Crawford, what we're dealing with here. Well, the good news is it decided to kind of fix itself. I don't know what's going on here. He works at the Anti-Corruption Foundation, an organization. Of course, I can't show you music. Enjoy your
For full details, visit SubaruWhitePlains.com. Subject to primary lender approval. Hey, John. Andy still dealing with a crash on the Hutch. It's southbound by Weaver Street. Two lanes of blocked injuries involved. So perfect. That's over. good. The jam up begins by Lamanic Avenue. Got to say, extra. though, this thing really sounds good. Um, I mean, wow. And it's, you know, I'm, I'm, I played it for a little while here. So we've got, let's see what we've got. 206, 260, that's not great. 328 and 333. I can do a little more adjustment. I'll bring that up a little. 340, oh, that's too much. And see, like I said, super touchy. 318, that's not quite enough. Yeah, I mean, this is like, you know, you you try it, and then that's like all you need to do. 336. We'll do that up here. Oh, 334. 337, that's fine. 36, or 260, 204. Obviously, this one's all the way up. So I cannot do much more than that, but I can turn that one down. 239, 206, 239. That's all right. Let's see. Oh. At UBS Arena, the Pittsburgh Penguins came back. All right. After trailing so the, the, the next thing we have to do here is Saturday afternoon change in did not go so well. the dial balls. But and add a CL70. So you can see I've replaced these two lights with LEDs. Um, to replace the front panel lights, I have to remove the front panel. This here and this one here come off. And then I can remove it to replace the lights. So we got our two bulbs in. One over here, one over here. We're going to put the panel back on. I did just put a little oil on these knobs here just to kind of keep them from getting stuck and we'll put this panel back on this special sale ends february 26 visit telecharge.com Many other things here at Catholic okay. Answers and so I am um, CIA teacher, obviously I which is uh, relevant CL today 70, because we have an open forum or CL80 or specifically for anyone yeah, at RCIA or right now or considering the Catholic Church. Of course, the RCIA is the right of Christian initiation of adults, the normal way that an adult comes into the community. Potentially. <laughs> Yeah, so this is the only one. Okay, perfect. So we've got to um, turn the volume down because I don't want to lose that. But yes, we've got all the lights working now. And, um, I, you know, it sounds good, so that's a good thing. Um, I do smell that thermistor getting hot, which is supposed to do. Basically, what I did by installing that is to prevent when you first power it on, prevent it from drawing a lot of current at once. And the idea is to protect the power switch. I don't know how well it works. These power switches are impossible to get. So here's the Fisher 500, all done. And uh, got the nice new shiny capacitors, which look great. Dial looks pretty good. We've got uh, a couple, let's see, what are we on? I don't even know, auxiliary and stereo. Stereo, auto, which picks up the signal if it, if it needs to. That's stereo signal, stereo. Oh, the song ended, but anyway.
There are moments um, in life that deserve. So we've got the ads. For those moments, you can but anyway, this uh, thing plays great. And um, so they made a case for this, but I don't have it. Don't really need a case to operate it. It just looks better. I may try and find one or uh, either make one or have one made. I'm not sure. But for now, at least this is a good start. And it just sounds nice. It just sounds fantastic. Now, let me try something. Well, unfortunately, this is not royalty free. Uh, let me see if I can find something that is. Hold on. Here's some royalty free music. use it.